welcome to another video from the farm. So today we're starting a little bit of a challenging series. We've got a week to build our chicken house. Good luck to us. Hey. So the first major task, get the topsoil off the area where we're putting the shed. Got our mate Andy from the village sorting it out for us now. So to start with, whilst we've got Andy down there, probably just about here him, digging away, clearing the area. We'll uh, be fabricating all of these six by twos, three thick like that, into one laminated beam. So we can do the uh, base post supports out of these in the ground today, hopefully. So once we've got that area scraped off and levelish, make the whole process of throwing all these posts in a whole load easier. So we'll head back up to where we've got a little factory set up. We'll crack on, getting all these posts laminated together so we can get the posts in later today, hopefully. So making one of these beams is a fairly simple process. Literally cutting the metre and a half lengths, as Will's doing. And we take some of this glue, some polyurethane glue, and just put a good amount back and forward like so, all the way down. And then put one on top, put lots of screws in at different opposing angles, lock it all together, good to go as a solid beam once the glue sets. night time's rolled in but we've got all of these base ones done and Will's managed to get them all painted up for us. We've got 18 of these made now I don't think I actually explained what we're doing here so we're using these in the ground to set the level of our building so we can prefabricate all of the posts to sit on top of here all at the right length so we should have a square level building straight away once we level off and trim these down and we're going to trim these down to form a little socket and I'll show you what I mean here out of one of these bigger posts I'm just going to start to construct so as you can see here I've marked six inches and then I brought the next length six inches up so now I've got a six inch gap at the bottom and then I'm just going to put another one on top like so now we've got a nice little keyhole to slot into on this end and it leaves a nice little lock on this end for us to use to mount the actual cross connectors but this little bit here is how we're going to trim the bottom ones up all on the level so when we prefabricate all these we can just slot them straight on so it's super dark haven't got the right lighting to be filming really so i'm going to crack on with these and then you'll catch me in the morning i guess when i should have most of these done i've got uh, how many 12 of these three meter ones to make for the sides and i've got to wait for the wood tomorrow to come to make the center ones well, i can finish these tonight so let's crack on so pretty productive night we've got eight of these done and i've quickly just fired out two more so we've got four left oh no sorry two left the side post smashed out it's time to smash out six giant posts for the middle didn't quite get the pattern 
hard finish yesterday with our mate's mini digger. So we've got our other farmer friends, giant monster in today. He's done that in about two minutes. So now I've just got him excavating our irrigation pond for the market garden a little bit deeper. So we've got all the posts made now. Come a cropper with a bit of an issue though, we think. When we uh, get these up in the air, we're not going to be able to lift the main centre beams, which are going to be similar size to these, onto the top of them. So we're having to get our pal in again with a big digger. We're going to use that as a bit of a crane, we think. But for now, we can crack on setting some of the ground posts. To the big digger nailed clearing this off. As you can see, pretty flat too. And I've already roughed in the four corners. I don't know if you can see those two over there. I've got one over there too. We'll screw together these and we'll uh, lay it out properly with some strings all the way around. And then we'll crack on digging some post holes with the post hole digger. these corner posts in so I've set the bottom level with these six by twos here I'm going to continue them all the way along these posts and eventually across all the other posts when we get the last eight in the middle but I was really eager to test out my laminated post design to see if it was working sweet and uh, yeah works perfect cut my little notch on the top of the post at the level now I've got my three meter post perfectly in Pretty much almost straight. Obviously there's a bit of leeway there at the minute because I haven't got it locked in. It's just sitting on top, but works perfectly. Right, I'll crack on with the rest of these holes so we can start firing all of these in. Forgot to click the time lapse on, didn't I? I've got a few more posts in. We're getting there, that's all the groundwork's done now. Apart from we just gotta cut the little hinges in the top of each post. Then we're pretty much good to go, racking the building up. posts in position we've got the first level of the sides moved up in the right position now so we can fix metal brackets over the joins and then also make sure our sheets actually come right down past these so we've got something to fix the bottom into
more of the side on. A little bit more than was in the time lapse, only a few more sheets. Gonna save the rest until later tonight now. The sun's already setting on us, but we're getting there. A couple more days now, that's all we think it should be. Probably one or two more on the roof. And then uh, we can get the chickens in here. So we've got some of the roof on now, giving a proper sense of scale. We did this in the dark. It's not too bad with Stu up on that top beam and me on the ladder on this edge. I'm a bit scaredy cat to be up there, but he's up there no problem. Got a rope on for safety, but shimmying back and forward. But yeah, got it done, no problem. We should finish the rest of this off tonight when it gets back from deliveries, I'd imagine. But for the rest of today, probably going to be throwing on some more sides and cutting the rest of these because I've got about 20 more to cut. So I've been cutting the roof bins in the same way as I did the ones for the roundhouse. Literally rested each end on the beam it's sitting on, drew a straight line off the beam and then cut the notch in. Now I'll cut these two forms straight away. From them I've made a stack for the left and a stack for the right. And we tested them on either end and we're only a little bit out. So, so far, I managed to get the building pretty square. This was the test really when we went to put these on. If we had to be cutting each one of these individually, that would be a nightmare. So I'm running out of battery, so I'm not going to time lapse this. I need to go put this on charge. So by the time I get this back down in, we'll do a bit more footage. To hopefully have a lot more of these sides on, around that bottom end and along this edge. And then I should have all of those bits of wood there, and these last two here, cut into more rafters like that. Fingers crossed we can get a load of these on tonight, like I said before. So we're basically there, the roof coming along nicely. Stu's just putting the last bits of lath on, right down the ridge. And then we're good to go, getting some of these same sort of sheets as the side, but six meters long on both sides of this. So hopefully it will be done in the next few days. So we're finally fitting some roof sheets. Got a stew up there, fixing them in. I'll start to hold the rope, make sure they don't slide off and cut Chad to pieces the other side. basically at the final hurdle on the shade structure now we've got all of the bits of sheet steel cut we needed cut these last two pieces for here and then we've got a long strip for either side to finish the edge of the roof off so as you can see a little bit of a gap on the end apologies for a lot of rush steps here skipped a lot of stuff we've done but needs be I'm afraid we're in a bit of a rush because of the weather get these birds inside yeah, we've also finished the main door off and left the uh, personnel door in there, put a board over it for now. We've done the same up on the door in for the slats too, so that's only a little hatch door. But so we can get in and out easily with some steps, get up to the nest box area. Found the feeders. Apologise that we sort of rushed quite a bit of this video, but yeah, needs must time-wise and all that. Very time constrained getting this done. 
So it's taken us a few weeks longer than we'd anticipated to build this because of uh, weather constraints and whatnot. And also the massive drudge of us having to walk all of these materials that we've put into this up from our top area down here because we haven't got a track yet. It's too muddy to get a vehicle down here. So yeah, we ended up moving probably 30 tonne of materials down by hand, which added a lot of time onto the build. But yeah, it's all come together nicely now. So I guess we'll wrap this video up here. Until next time then, bye-bye.